In this video, we'll look at Groove Machine's stutter effect. Down the right-hand side of Groove Machine, there are five buttons that trigger various stutter effects. When you click and hold them, certain parts of the groove will loop at the interval shown on the button. Let's load up the default groove, Winter Solstice. This particular groove is set up so that the whole groove will stutter together, like this. But if I load up the groove called Deeper, you'll notice that the drums stutter, but the synth parts keep playing. To generate this effect, we'll use the Stutter Bypass button. When the Bypass function is active, the associated part does not stutter. Let's go back to Winter Solstice for a moment. As I click on the different drum parts and synth parts, you can see that none of them are bypassed. Let's set this groove up so that it stutters like the groove deeper. Select the first synth part and bypass it. Now select the second synth part and again engage the stutter bypass. In fact, I'm going to go through and bypass the stutter effect on all five synth parts. Now listen. Cool. But there's more here. See the orange text on these buttons? These unlock even more types of stutter. But to use them, you have to hold down the bottom button, the one marked Alt, and the one you want at the same time. So first, let's map a hardware button to the Alt control. Click the bottom button. Then press a button on your MIDI controller and click the link. Now when I play back and hit the same button on my controller, I'll get the one quarter stutter, like this. But if I play back and I hit that button and the one half reverse button at the same time, I get this. For more great software, check out the ImageLine website, and for more great tutorials, visit StreamWorksAudio.com.